right back to his face. Right hand punches the clinch. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just, just too easy as he connects with another good series. Of guy can only box him. He will be in trouble. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo deal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you have it, bro, because you don't know me. You, like, I swear you don't know me. That's why you think the way you do. No, but like Cuban, you see me play with us, but you didn't see me. You see me once I stopped playing this shit. I swear you did. You didn't see me when I was graying niggas the fuck out. You, did, I'm telling you. All right. No, I'm I'm saying, I'm saying. You, listen, you not. You didn't see me. I'm just saying you didn't see me in my bag. That's why you think that. But it's cool though. It's cool. If we turn the sticks on right now, I'm willing to bet I can greet you the fuck out. It won't. It won't prove. It won't. I'm gonna whoop his ass, but that that won't. It won't get to nobody. You feel me? But then I'm question. If I box you, you gonna have another excuse. So then what is it? You gonna it's gonna be something. I already did it though. My fault. My fault. It was his newest jumper. My fault. Case proven. You win. You win. You win, bro. You win. I know I got it. I know I got it. I know I got it. What was your question? I'm sorry. I'll say this, because I don't remember shit very often. There was probably shots that you had open, but I'm willing to bet you had very low stamina, and these were not good shots. Your own homie just said cat. I'm just, yeah. That was interesting, though. That was very interesting. Bro, I don't want to fight Tony Ferguson, bro. I want to fight for the title, bro. I want to fight for the title. Justin Gaethje. That would have been crazy, bro.
So call me, you don't know who it was? Call me, if, if, I'm, if I'm hearing this right, you are online. So you were sexually harassing bitches online. Come let me explain this to you from her perspective. Imagine like cuz you know how you say you're you're not a real nigga. Imagine if I dead ass seriously walked up to you every day and called you a bitch ass nigga and you like like you was actually believing what I was saying. And this shit was like hitting you deep. So Cuban, like, like, let's say you wasn't like like a real nigga, right? And I was telling you a bitch ass nigga every day. I've been called a misogynist, bro. That shit follows you. I don't take the fall. Fucking liar. All right, like, like no biz, right? So, like, all right, I'm talking as a real nigga, right? Why don't you just like, like, get like a side hustle and buy it? I'm not talking about your main income. I'm. Uh, you hear me? I'm not talking about your main income that you use to pay for your house. I'm talking about like a, cause, 
like door dashing or some shit. You feel me? Oh. But you can get one that's like, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta be peep peep. Call me a lot of good things could help from biking on DoorDash. Like you could you could get it, you can get in shape, all that. You know, Cuban, I'm happy I met you, Sway, and all that, bro. I used to think I was too deep in with 2K until I met y'all niggas. No, no, no. Like, like, you hear how you saying you not deep in? To me, to, to you, you not deep in. But me hearing the shit that y'all niggas say, I, I really used to think I was damn near a geek. Yeah, like... Like, like y'all my homies, bro. But y'all niggas really geeks. No, I'm saying you are right, my fault. You may not be a geek, but you a step above me. And I thought I was a like motherfucker. You tell me, bro. You damn it. You a game freak, bro. thought I was good at 2k
Bro, like, y'all, y'all niggas, y'all niggas talking about all these niggas? Bro, I never heard of these niggas. I never heard of none of the niggas y'all talking about. You know, one day, I'm gonna be in college, balling the fuck out, and I'm gonna remember all you niggas, and I'm gonna pray for you niggas, bro. I'm not, no, call me, I'm not saying it bad. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday, you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot, but it was all for one reason, to get you here, your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm going to have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and... You know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, this man has compiled a serious win streak. He has paid his dues. And finally, after working his way up the ranks and taking on all comers, he has realized a title fight in this UFC lightweight division. You know how crowded it is at 155 pounds. You know how hard it is to stay on a winning streak in this division. He has done that. And now he is 25 minutes or fewer away from being forever branded a UFC lightweight champion of the world. Yeah, bro, bro. Nah, I mean, come out. I, I wasn't even trying to make it seem like I didn't done no wrong, cause I done had my geek moments. I done had my geek days, months, whatever. So, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be a day. Like once I'm in college, during the football season, come me out. I'm not even bearing with you, Brody. You my man. But my freshman year, I'm unplugging this fucking game and I'm not plugging it in until the last snap of football is played. Them, them niggas said you gotta wake up early as fuck in the morning. Come on, I'm, I'm not a nigga that can wake up early, so I need all the sleep I can get before that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. What I'm finna do Sunday, I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, do all my lawyer mean. I feel like Sunday gonna be the day I'm gonna really try to get paid, bro. I'm gonna rest and try to get paid on laptop.
Championship of the World. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, Washington, presenting the challenger, Anderson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. Cheer, bro. I'm gonna pray for all you niggas. Hopefully, y'all make it out in life, bro. Hopefully, it's a day where it's not 4:40 in the month or morning, and I'm talking to you niggas. I'm I'm not saying it like that. Y'all my home uh, but you feel me? Friends is, I don't believe in that shit. Bro, Cuban, let me ask you a real nigga question. You have friends? You have women friends? So let me ask you a dead ass question. And I'm not talking about a bitch that you grew up in the sandbox with that's damn near your sister. All right. If you, if she called you 3 o'clock in the morning, you was damn near ready to start beating off. And she called you and say, come fuck. You going to come hit it? So you mean to tell me. Tie. 
Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Anderson. And both guys really throwing with authority. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He blocks the punch. He's You're scared of embarrassment. Oh, shades of Kenny for you there. Elbow from the bottom by Anderson. All right, hammer fist here by Gaethje. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. Come he gonna tell somebody. You done told the wrong nigga. You, you done told the wrong nigga. Yes. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his yes. very bad. No, no, all right. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Keep... Trying to establish that jab once again. Big call for what's land. Now so, he's back to range. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to see yes. the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely low. No, all right, trust him. No, but forgive them. Yeah, I can forgive somebody. Just the way he drew it up here tonight. He saw that little crack of an opening and barge right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent.